Hey, hey, hey! I'm um, sorry I'm late on this one. Um, Wednesday came and went and was really busy. <laughs> so, good things. Um, this last week, what happened? Well, I stayed up very late over the weekend doing things for work. I finished a comic. I'm gonna grab it for you. Um, it's my Valentine's Day card. Oh, where is it? Um, I made a comic. It looks like this. And I think it's funny. Um, I'm sending real Valentines this year. I They're going to be late because tomorrow is Valentine's Day and I don't have all the addresses I need. But dang it, I'm going to send them. And this is what they look like. Um, yeah, stayed up till like 2 o'clock in the morning, finishing that on Saturday. But it was a really good time. What else happened? Uh, oh, that made me really tired. And on Monday and Tuesday, I kind of hit like a, a little rut thing. I have been diagnosed with, like, a couple of years ago, this isn't like a new thing, um, with something called dysthymia. And what that is, I have like a, a really mild form of it, which basically means that when traumatic situations happen, I, I, I hit a rut like a normal person, but I actually also kind of spin into like a, like a very real chemical depression, which usually lasts like two or three days and then I, you know, it, I get over it and I'm okay. Um... So yeah, that I had one of those that this week, which sucked. It was not fun. Um, but I'm doing great today. And yesterday, actually, I was doing much better. So usually happens when I'm really tired and somehow like something social hits the wrong chord with me or... Or I'm not, or I'm kind of sick, and kind of this time it's just like all of those things like happened together. But yeah, it's all good. I was also able to audition for um, eight films at once, short films at Salt Lake Community College yesterday. I've never auditioned for them before, and hopefully something works out because I could really use some footage for my reel because I don't really have a reel. Yeah, and then last night I got to hang out with Rob, and we did some recording, and then tonight I hang out with Brian, because we're planning some live sessions, I don't, it's kind of his thing, I don't exactly understand exactly what he has in mind, but pretty much we're going to record ourselves doing a bunch of folksy kinds of covers. <laughs> oh, so eloquent am I. Um, yeah, so I got to work with him a little bit tonight, which was fun, and that's kind of this week. That's kind of it. Next week, let's see, Valentine's Day is tomorrow. I did have a stage at show, which I canceled, mostly because I really wasn't able to get the word out, and it's also my grandma's birthday, which isn't really the reason, but... I like thinking that I canceled something for my grandma's birthday. I get to take her out tomorrow. We're going to the temple, which for those of you who aren't Mormons, um, we do, we have the, the large, beautiful buildings that you see, not just like our churches, but like the large, beautiful buildings. It's called the temple, and we do work for our ancestors there. We go in and we kind of make covenants and their ordinances and stuff. It's it's cool. But she wants to be in the temple on her 85th birthday and it's it's a very serene and beautiful place and and you're doing service for um, those who have passed on. So it's I think it's awesome that that's what she wants to do. It's great. And that I get to take her. What else? I have a date on Saturday, which is great. And Hopefully next week will be full of great and wonderful things. Monday is a holiday. I don't really have plans for that. I should probably make some fun friend plans for that. I don't do enough with friends. 
Um, but yeah, I think that's kind of it. I'm also trying to avoid saying um and like. This is new for me. So hopefully the count is low for this blog post. All right, things that bug and things that I love. There's first thing, things that bug. I have this person that she's a really nice person. Um and I I get together with her sometimes to jam and she kind of smells bad. And the truth of it is I don't like her music. But She's really, really nice. She has, like, I don't know. It bothers me. It's it's not her that bothers me. It bothers me that I'm so bothered by her. And it bothers me that I can't decide whether or not I should continue to work with her or just stop. <laughs> because we have a lot of the same friends in, like, the music world and and all that stuff. It's, I don't know. That's what bugs, just that whole situation and my inability to know how to handle it is annoying. Things that I love. My friends from the restaurant I worked at in New York City, there are a small group of them who started a web series. It's called Find Love NYC, and they aired their first episode this week, and it's pretty darn good. I mean... They're independent. They are doing it under SAG, which is the Screen Actors Guild slash um, the union for film actors and other associates. Um, it's great. It's really, it's really good. I think it'll be, I think it'll get better as they kind of get in the groove of who their characters are and what their relationships are, etc. But I'm just way proud of them, just beaming proud of them. You should check it out. Um, I'll leave a link for it. Find Love NYC. It's based around the premise of a dating company similar to a dating website, but the main difference is that it's it's not a website. You actually go into the office and they find you someone to date. They specifically set you up with a human through human means. It's not... Um, no online tests or algorithms or matchup profiles or anything like actual people do it. It's it's a comedy. It's very funny. Um, yeah. But that's kind of it. Happy Valentine's Day. Um, I if you want a Valentine or if you want some of these Valentines to give to your loved ones, then you can visit the website at thalarsonmedia.com. Probably where you're watching this video from. And order them. Yeah. All right. Well, have yourself a lovely week and we'll see you next Wednesday. Adios.